Hello everybody, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to my single player Mitch Plays Minecraft, Mitchcraft World. And today, the first thing we're going to show off here is I finished the last part of the exterior of the castle. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I took away this, like, this whole bottom roundish kind of thing that we had going on here. Just kind of brought it straight down. I think that looks a lot better. And works well with you know the rest of the build here. Not a lot of, well I guess there are circles with the towers. But this back here just wasn't looking right. Now it does. Very happy with this. Let's take a closer look. Whoa, not that close. But yeah, see, we're kind of continuing on with some of the build themes and design ideas that we've got going on here. We got this going on. I think it looks very nice. I'm happy with it. Then, let's see, can we see, like this side here, I put a big window up there. I think that looks okay. I don't think I finished the other side, though. And something else, I'm what, I was just kind of stuck as far as like what I wanted to do there. I tried a couple of different things, nothing really looked right. So now, well, yeah, I guess I just put the fences in there. The fences are okay. Maybe not my favorite detail of the castle, but it's done. Exterior work is all now finished. Pretty happy with the results. I think we did good. And to reward ourselves, I think today we're going to go on a hunt for a horse. We need to find a horse to keep in our horse stables that we made a couple of, well, was that last episode? I don't even remember. So we're gonna fly off in this general direction. I think this eventually breaks off into a different kind of biome. There's gotta be horses out here somewhere. We gotta kind of remember to have a pathway that we can follow back, like Piggy Hills over here. Let's see. Oh, a ton of pigs, golly. Nothing but pigs. Got a couple of cows, more pigs. If we ever wanted to bring some pigs into the castle, we know where to get them. Let's see, that kind of goes off into a swampy area that way. Not sure if that's what we want. Those chickens. Ah, that goes off into a forest. I guess we can see what's on the other side of this forest here. Hmm. If it opens up into a plains, chances are we can get some horses, but I don't think horses will spawn inside forests. Oh, more pigs. Another big mountain. Let's turn it around a little bit. This is another huge mountain. Looks like there's sheep on top of it. A lot of big mountainous areas over here. This goes off into a different kind of forest again. Dang it. Okay, let's not lose our bearings on which way we're going here. Because if we do, it might not be a fun way home. Alright, now we're going into birch. Aha, there we go. Here we go. Good open clearing here. We should see horses. That's probably going to be our best chance to see horses. Um, that's sheep. More sheep. Come on, give me a horse. Let's take one more pass. Got floating flowers. We're going to see. Oh, there's a village. That's interesting. Let's stop by and see. Anybody? Is anybody's home here? Well, a little bit on the water. All your doors are gone. Oh, excuse me. Is there a blacksmith in here? Doesn't look like it. There's a library. Yeah, looks like that's it. Hmm. Well, let's fly off this way a little bit more. There's some pigs. Actually, we're going this way, weren't we? Let's see. I'm going to be disappointed if we can't find horses, because I made a place for horses. 
I know we've got horses elsewhere that we could go grab and steal and bring over here. But that seemed like it was going to be more trouble than it was worth. Then again, here we have some horses. We found horses, people. So let's go ahead and try this one out here. We're going to feed you up. Do you love me yet? Let's try. And come on. There we go. Nope. I'll get out of the way. I'm looking at this one. I like how this one's kind of like a little darker colored on top. We'll go down to 30. Okay. Now, yay, you love me. Okay. Let's shift click in your butt. Put the saddle on and some armor. Oh, you've got pretty good health. How are you on the speed department? Yeah, you're pretty fast too. I think we may keep you. So now we've got to head back to the castle, which is in that general direction. The main reason I didn't fly off this way in the first place is that it may be a little difficult to make our way back by land. Hopefully we'll be able to circumnavigate this area here though. Oh, let's not fall in a big hole. Make our way back to the castle. Now that we're back home in the spiked ice castle here, figured we should give this guy a name. And since we're in a castle, it should be something knightly. So welcome, Sir Bacon. Sir Bacon is our newest horse friend here. I like bacon. He's brown like bacon. Therefore, Sir Bacon. High five. Ha. Okay, I didn't really mean to punch him. I've just been checking out this map of our area here. It's looking pretty cool. But I've learned over time, my favorite thing about Minecraft is building exteriors. Interiors, I mean, I guess I'm okay with. I mean, look at this. This is pretty cool, right? But I don't know. Sometimes I get stumped. And one of the things I'm stumped on right now is this area right up here. I've been kind of working on it on and off. And I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it thus far, I think. Check it out. We got portals on each side here. We got carpet in the middle. It just feels a little bit bland to me, but I don't know. Every room can't be perfect, right? Right? Right, guys? But let's go ahead and light these up on each side, because I think it looks really cool from the outside. It's one of those things that's going to look cool from the outside, but I don't know how I feel about it from the inside. We got portals in front of each one of these windows. Let's take a quick look outside and show you how that looks. And this way we've got a direct line in the nether to get all the way back out here rather than having to go from the bunny ranch off that way and walk or fly this way. Let's see. You can't really see the... Well, I guess you can kind of sort of from here. See, it looks like the whole window over there is purple now, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> I really like it. I've got crappy morning voice at the moment. Um... Yeah, I like that. Adds another color into the build here. And I, I just really like it. Let's look at it from the outside real quick. The only problem is, is there's no way to really turn it off. So while we're in there, it's going to be going do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do, over and over and over again. But yeah, just look at that from walking up right here. This looks really cool. I'm really happy with this. Once again, this is one of those things where happy with the exterior the interior, eh, it could use some work. I guess if there's anything I really need practice on, it would probably be interiors. So let's go take a look up there, see if there's anything else we can figure out to do. I mean, I guess we could end up uh, adding a little bit more of this spiked ice. That could be cool inside of here. Or maybe something else in the floor pattern. Maybe that's what's bugging me the floor pattern in here is kind of dull. I like the big open ceiling. Like we're working with a lot of vertical designs in here. Oh, I'm going to turn the sound down. Um, video settings? No, not video settings. Options, music and sound. Let's just bump that down to off for right now. But yeah, in these corners, eh, I don't know. We'll play around with something real quick. Maybe if we add some iron in here. Yeah, I'm aware I won't have a sound for a little while while we figure this out. Like, what if, like, right here, 
kind of add in a little iron entranceway. That could be kind of cool because it's a dangerous area. Not exactly dungeony, but it gets the point across. It's like, hey, this area, off limits. Well, not off limits, but go here at your own risk. That's what I'm thinking. As far as tables and stuff, we could continue that on too. We could find some stairs. Ugh, I just picked all these boxes up. Now I'm going to have to put them back down. Do I have... I got stone stairs. Doors, I don't really feel like I'm going to be able to do much with. We could use those chests. What else was in there? Yeah, I'll grab those item frames too. And maybe a little bit of packed ice. There's no real area to put this packed ice in unless we just kind of have it going up the corner. Or along the side here. Something like that. Let me just break out a little area here. I don't know, that's not bad. It just doesn't flow well with the floor in here, I feel. I'm not super excited about that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe we could add in a different color. Come on, I've got to have more things in my bag of tricks here. But yeah, I was thinking maybe do... Maybe a little quick, simple storage right here. Slap on one of these item frames. Just so we can label it later. Like maybe when we're, back, when we're coming back from the nether, needing to unload a lot of stuff here. I just need some kind of table for underneath it. Um, I don't want to use stone brick. Let's see, I've got two more project boxes. I'm really going to have to start putting stuff up in these. Let's see, what if we use spruce? We did something like, oh, there's not going to be an easy way to do this, is there? Hmm. Can I touch that corner over here? No. Okay. I've got this. I'll figure it out. We'll just use this here. Then kind of bounce our way back up from here. Like that. And then go there and there. I do have a point to this. At least do something like this. Doop. Eh? Add something to the floor here, I think. Then this side here. Hmm. We could end up trying to do the same thing. Let's see. We're going to run into the same problem, though. Where's my axe? Should not be making this harder on myself than it needs to be. I'll do this corner here. What is... Uh, can I touch that? Nope. Darn it. Let's go like that. Do I have ender pearls on me? Darn it, I don't. Okay. Let's just do this. And add this over here. Pick that block up. Now, what's going to be the easiest way to get out of here? I don't know how to get out without breaking all the things. Can I break out of here? Aha! There we go. Let me do that. Then we'll fix it. Bloop, bloop, and a bloop, and a torch. Where's my torch? There we go. And there. Okay. So we got a little bit more of an interesting floor pattern going on here. This is going to be a weird corner. Just because that's where we have to come up. But let's throw this here. Doop. Outward. Outward. Doop. Outward. Outward. 
There we go. That kind of livens up the floor area in here a little bit more. Now we need a table for underneath there. Hmm. And we use dark oak wood. Just have kind of have it sitting on top of logs. Doop doop. Yeah, that kind of looks cool. I don't mind that. Yeah, I think that's got a good feeling to it overall. Wish there was something else we could do in these corners. Kind of bugs me we don't have a big tall thing we could slap in there. Other than like a cobblestone wall. But then it's going to look awkward because this corner can't have one because I need to come up this corner. Bah. Er. But I am happy with what we got figured out there. That makes me happy. Happy Mitch is a good Mitch. Uh, I really need to clean out all those. Because I've just been using them for like random storage for, for like three or four episodes now. So they're getting a little bit cluttered. Just a little bit. Let's see. Is there anything else in here I could use or want to use? Have feelings about those iron bars I want to stick back in here. Oh, no, I already have iron bars in here. Well, I'll stick that there. I don't think there's a place for a painting or anything like that. Light-wise, I feel like we're okay. Let's look at this. Light level 10. 10. What was that? 9. But it's on top of stairs, so it doesn't really matter. All right, cool. That's one more room done in the castle. I don't know, guys. I'm really starting to think if I made like one good push on, you know, trying to finish up some rooms and things, we're just about finished here. I want to do like that big mess hall area over that way. And we've got one big tower off this way that I don't know what we're going to do with, really. But other than that, it's just like little rooms here and there adding in decoration. And I'm kind of getting a little burned out on the area, too. Just, you know, between me and you and the fly on the wall. Let's go check out our slime farm while we're outside the castle here. I mean, we've done great things here, but I'm really tired of looking at snow. So tired of snow. Snow everywhere. I was also thinking about maybe adding in some other little outside towers here and there. Kind of little watchtowers or whatever. That might be something else we could do here. Let's take a look in. See, this is only like one floor of a slime farm. I want to see how well this does overall. Ah, that's not bad. And we got one dying right now. That's pretty cool. So I think I'm probably going to end today's episode here. Sorry if it's a little bit on the short side, but, you know, if inspiration isn't hitting me 100%, shouldn't make y'all guys sit through it. So let me know your ideas, thoughts on what you'd like to see me work on next. Should we finish things up here or should we kind of take a break from it and move on to something else? You let me know and I will see you guys again next time.